guys, welcome back to the second video of the Kingdom Keeper's 10th Anniversary Summer Spectacular! When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are, anything your heart desires will come to you. Okay, so today's video is going to be the top 10 relationships in Kingdom Keepers. That can be romantic, friendship, parent-child whatever. Um, a relationship I will not be including on the list here is the relationship between the keepers in general. Their friendship, how they're like a family, because I'm trying to do relationships between two people here. Um, but I would like to say that is pretty much my favorite relationship in the series. I love it. So, without further ado, let's get started. For number 10, I have Willa and Ariel. I loved the moment in book 4 where Ariel saved Willa's life and just swam with her, and how they kind of formed a friendship after then. She calls her Willow, and it's really cute, and I just see these two as having, like, a really cool friendship, sort of. They have some sort of bond. And I'm jealous of Willow, because think about that, like, you're friends with the Disney princess. That That's just cool, man. For number nine, I have Finn and Maybach. Now, this is one of the pairs in the Keepers that seem to have a stronger friendship than the rest of them. Finn and Maybach talk about a lot. I remember a moment in the seventh book where... Finn was talking to Maybuck, and they were talking about Charlene and Amanda and how they've changed their lives. And, you know, Finn and Philby can clash sometimes, Maybuck and Philby can clash sometimes. But ever since the first, first book, Finn and Maybuck have kind of really remained close friends. So, yeah. Number eight is Wayne and Wanda. Now, in any book, I love me a good parent-child relationship. They give me all the feels. They are so sweet, and I've loved Wayne and Wanda from the beginning. Like I said in the previous video, I think I like Wanda and maybe this relationship between Wayne and Wanda because I like the idea of Wayne having a daughter. Like, wow, he has a life outside of the Keeper thing, and I want to hear about it. But you can tell how much they care about each other, and she works for Disney, just like her dad. And he wanted to bail her out of jail in the fourth book, and she was like, no, dad, you're going to get captured. And these two just look out for each other, and that's the way it should be, and it's really sweet. Number seven is the relationship between Finn and his mother, Mrs. Whitman. Now, I love this because they have one of the best relationships out of the Keepers and their parents that we see. Um, ever since the beginning, Mrs. Whitman doesn't really question the Keeper stuff too much. She trusts Finn pretty much. He had to lie to her a little bit less, and then in the third book, we see her get involved and start helping him with the Keepers. And ever since then, she's just at the forefront. She is helping him out, and she's like, you know, fighting the Overtakers. And it was so painful in book five when she became a green eye and Finn was so upset. And that moment where she, like, broke the spell for a second and told him to run and Finn was crying, it was so touching. And you can see how close these two are. He never wants to lie to her. And their relationship is just so special. And I just love that she fights with the Keepers and especially in the Syndrome. She's just really cool. Speaking of Finn, the number six relationship on my list is Finn and Dillard. These two are such awesome best friends. And this is one of the cases where one of the Keepers has a best friend outside of the Keepers. And I loved Dillard. He was so quirky and it was so sad when he died. I didn't mean to start crying there. That wasn't intentional for the video. That just happened. But I love seeing their relationship and like in the sixth book hearing about how they used to play like Knights of the Round Table with the palm tree fonts and be how Dillard was always so interested in the Kingdom Keepers and he wanted to be involved in it because Finn was. And you know, I have a best friend and I could really see in Finn and Dillard manifested what it's like to have a best friend. Dillard is one of the only people who Finn trusts enough to tell about the Keepers. Dillard's helping Finn out even though he's risking his life and eventually giving his life to help Finn and the Keepers. And that final moment where Dillard dies in his arms and Finn tells him he's always a Keeper and Dillard just smiles at him. It's so beautiful and they have such a beautiful friendship. I'm sorry. Okay, number five on my list is Jess and Amanda. Now here's another case of best friends, but these two go to a point of calling themselves sisters. That's me and my best friend, we call ourselves sisters, but it's more extreme for Jess and Amanda. They have a huge, special kind of bond. They escaped from the Fairley Institute together. They're both orphans, and they're just there for each other. In book two, Amanda is fighting for Jess to get her back from Animal Kingdom. And they're so close, and I'm lost for words again like I was in the first video. I don't know how to describe this. My favorite moments, some of my favorite moments have to be in the first book when Amanda sees Jez, and she can't tell Finn that it's Jess, 
but she knows and she like cries and she's just looking at her and she's so upset but Jess doesn't recognize her. These two are always fighting together, fighting for each other, and their bond is unbreakable. I loved the moment in the syndrome where Amanda left for a little bit to go find Finn. And when Jess came back to Orlando, they just like hugged and squealed and they were so happy to be reunited. And these two, you like, you don't know where they would be without each other. And it's just so sweet. Sisters, yay! My number four relationship on my list is Charbeck. We're starting off with the romantic relationships now. Charlene and Maybeck. Now, I will be talking more about these guys in my video for Charbeck next week during Ship Week. But what I love about Charbeck is that they're like the stereotypical rom-com teen couple movie, except neither one of them is anything like that. And they kind of didn't get along at the beginning of the books. In the first book, I just read a moment where Maybeck had to go because he had the date with Jez, and Charlene's like, what's the matter? You got a hot date? And he's like, not with you, I don't. And I love the moment in the third book when they're on mission space together and he's all like I'm gonna throw up and they're just so cute my favorite moment might have to be in the fifth book when she like jumps off the building and he thinks she's dead but then she lands and they realize they like each other and their relationship was a lot has been a lot less complicated than the other um, romantic relationships between the keepers they were always really open with each other that they had crushes on each other and then they're just together and then in the seventh book when they meet Charlene at the airport in Anaheim and Maybeck just picks her up and spins her in a circle it's all so cute and they are so perfect for each other Whee! my number three relationship on this list is another friendship and that is the one of Willa and Finn Oh, I like to compare Willa and Finn to Hermione and Harry because I sort of see them in the same way. They've sort of got a sibling-like bond. They're almost like brother and sister. And, you know, when Finn's being a jerk to Amanda, Willa called him out on it. When Willa wasn't being open enough with her emotions to, towards Philby and just in general, Finn told her about it. And they've helped each other through so many difficult situations. Like, there are moments in Harry Potter when, like, you know, Harry's not with Ginny and Hermione's not with Ron and they're just comforting each other. And that's kind of what Willa and Finn have. And it's great. I mean, they're always there for each other. They just seem to have a stronger friendship bond than most of the Keepers, and I just love it. They help each other through everything, and they understand each other, and they're like best friends, and it's so cute. Number two is Finn and Amanda. Finn Manta. Now, these two are on the running to be my OTP of the year in terms of books, and that's because of the syndrome. But again, we'll talk more about that later in the Ship Week video for them. Oh god, I love their relationship. It was the only relationship in Kingdom Keepers that seemed to be set in stone from the beginning. You know, Willa almost ended up with Maybeck. Maybeck has gotten close to being with Jess, but Finn and Charlene had a thing. But from book one, Amanda and Finn seemed to be a thing. It all started when Finn said he wasn't interested in girls, but Amanda was different. And then Amanda trusts him. He's the first person she ever trusts other than Jess to tell him about the Fairleys. And she even says that when she tells him, I'm trusting you in ways I've never trusted anyone before. He trusts her in from the beginning to tell her about all the Keeper stuff. And at that point, he still isn't even trusting Dillard to tell him. Their relationship is completely built on trust. And there are so many moments when they've almost lost each other and they've just fought for each other. In book four, Amanda went under the sleeping curse and Finn Watt fought hell and earth to save her. And now in the syndrome, Amanda is fighting hell and earth to get back to Finn and to help him. And it's amazing and I can't wait to see what happens for them next. And my number one relationship of all time, if you haven't guessed it already, in Kingdom Keepers is Wilby, Willa, and Philby. They are just a adorable two little nerds in love and it's so cute and they've come so far because when they first started having a crush on each other I think they both kind of knew it but they were so reserved and Philby was too scared to say anything to her and that upset Willow so she didn't say anything to him because she was so hurt by how reserved he was but they're really just so adorable and then she tells him she loves him and it's so cute I'm really not meaning to do this idiotic fake crying thing. It's just happening, so that's how much I feel about Kingdom Keepers. <laughs> but really, Willa and Philby are just great. They're like, they're so adorkable. That's my favorite word, adorkable. <laughs> and that's what Willa and Philby are. That's my favorite word to describe them. And I can't wait to see how far they go, because how far their relationship has come. 
I've loved them since book four when Philby told her and thought that she was pretty, and that's when I first thought about Wilby. I had never thought about it before. TBH, before that, I thought I, I thought I shipped Willa and Maybeck. But then I went back and read the second book, and I'm like, oh yeah, Willa and Philby's always been there. They're always working together on the puzzles, and, and when one of the other ones says something, they agree. And even though they clash sometimes and fight... It's just because they're so cute. And some of the best couples in books fight all the time. It's because they're so similar. And I just can't wait for more Wilby. So that's it. My top 10 Kingdom Keepers relationships of all time. I will see you on Wednesday with the first video of Ship Week. And that is going to be talking about my top 10 Fumanda moments. I had a lot of struggle rereading these books. Honestly, I'm still on book one because I was just at theater camp for a week and I didn't have any time to read because I was rehearsing from 9 a.m. in the morning until 10.30 at night every day. But I did get to see Book of Mormon and it was really cool. But because of that, I got back yesterday and I'm very tired. I mean, I got a lot of sleep. I slept until 1 today. Uh, but, yeah. So, that is that. Let me know your favorite Kingdom Keepers relationships in the comments and please remember to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at bookworm1018, on Tumblr at kingdomkeepers365, and my fanfiction account is also King King Keep Kingdom Keepers365 where you can read a bunch of Kingdom Keepers fanfic. On Kingdom Keepers Insider, I am Willatree Knucklehead. So check me out cuz I just wrote a submission for the Inside Out fanfiction challenge and I'm excited. Okay, hope you guys have a spectacular day, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye!